We're standing in the analytical lab of the Coastal Marine Institute Laboratory down on San Diego Bay. We focus on nearshore coastal research. It's one of the few marine labs ever built in an existing urban environment. So it actually opens up avenues of research and the proximity to San Diego City per se that give us a real heads up and leg up on doing the kinds of applied research that's of interest today. It's not only provided training for students, but it's given them real life experience in collecting data. That the thing that's most important is the ability to have a flow through seawater system. It opens a lot of doors for the types of experiments that we can do. I'm looking at how nutritional um, history of an urchin can affect its susceptibility to disease. Urchins are a good indicator of how um, healthy a kelp forest is. If you think about when you look out at the ocean, you see the brown layer at the top or you see the kelp wash up on the beach, you can think of those as kind of the redwoods of the ocean. If you think about a forest, you're walking through a forest, you've got all the animals and all the things, plants growing on the bottom, and you look up into the canopy, you've got all the birds and all the animals living up in the canopy of a forest. Well, the marine forest, the kelp forests are analogs, they're very similar. Um, there are hot spots of biodiversity, so understanding the, the factors that regulate kelp forest in space and time really helps us to understand what's driving biodiversity along our coast. These little tube feet right here, basically they, they'll stay in cracks and crevices, and then as soon as a piece of kelp comes by, they'll grab it. It's pretty rare to be able to, um, as Brian was saying before, actually do this sort of thing in the morning and then go to campus in the afternoon and take classes. A lot of uh, institutions you have to go to Catalina Island or to another uh, marine institution on the coast and then you know spend other time on university campus doing work. So it's nice that we can do research at the same time as we're getting our classes done and that way our experiments are able to last longer. Um, we're able to take more time to perfect our methods so if something goes wrong it's not like we're in a pinch and we only have a month to finish it. We can do it year-round.